Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome back to Hearthstone. Well, I've been uh, sort of developing my, uh, shall we say, skill with recording and uh, playing YouTube videos. I've uh, repositioned my new shiny big microphone um, to give some proper audio fidelity and uh, volume. We have an appointment with Bran Bronzebeard for the second leg of the League of Explorers adventure. So let's do that. And afterward, I'm also going to record the video. Still awesome. After that, I'm also going to record the video for uh, this week's Tavern Brawl, which is very interesting, but you'll have to see the next video for that. But let's start off with this uh, second wing of the Exp League of Explorers, so I have even more cards available in the Tavern Brawl. It's all so very efficient. Scattered across the ancient sites of Azeroth, Add the piece of a powerful Titan artifact, a staff of origination. Join the League of Explorers to acquire it for the museum, and earn 45 cards unique to this adventure. Indeed. So, uh, yeah, this is the second uh, wing. I've already got the uh, half of the staff. Let's go to Uldaman, which is a um, very well known old um, World of Warcraft dungeon. And it's wonderful. If a bit outdated. Ah, the presentation of Blizzard is second hey, to none. Explorer. I'm Bran Bronzebeard, the yes. lead founder. I've got a lead on the headpiece of the staff. It's somewhere here in Uldaman. This guy's had the same voice actor for years and years now. Okay. Uldaman's infested with trogs. We'll have to fight through them to reach the headpiece. Now, this is an interesting fight because uh, Chieftain Scarvash uh, is the first one in our way. His ability is that enemy minions cost two more. So, my minions cost two more mana to play. Every other turn, every turn, he switches that ability. So, every first turn, my minions cost uh, two more mana. First turn, third turn, fourth turn, uh, first turn, third turn, fifth turn, seventh turn. I can count, honest. But on the second turn, on the fourth turn, on the sixth turn, etc., my spells cost a lot more mana. So I'll just see how it goes with my standard deck. I'll plot through. If not, I've always got Dragon Priest and that kind of stuff. Cooking Murlocs, that sounds good. Well, this is near Red Ridge where they sell uh, Murloc fin soup. Uther versus Scarvash! Bring it. Demand for the frogs only. Uh -huh. I will fight with honor. Where I come from, we call that racism. <laughs> this is a bad starting hand. Scarvash was a wee trog last I was here. Now he's bigger, stupider, and uglier. Keep insulting him. No stupid. Rock, make you stupid. You can self again, Bran. You'll make you're making my job so much easier. This is a bad starting end. I might lose this. Probably won't because the Hearthstone AI is still dumb as a brick. Like this. This the is battle. gonna be an interesting trap. Oh, this is the um trap that when I use my hero power, it does damage to a random. Uh, yeah, I'm I am gonna use my hero power. Let's get it out of the way now. Yep, does five damage to random enemy, and it destroyed that, so it basically two mana for two mana. He wasted the card on that, that's not a good bargain for him. And at this point I can start playing my bigger cards, like uh, my true silver champion. I think using my big sword to kill this uh, try right now is a good idea. These mithril runes contain guardian code. They must date back to the titans. Um, Focus, Bran. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, World of Warcraft Universe was, uh, is being, and was, policed by the Titans. Greek god-esque, giant bronze, well, gods. The battle for justice! You have a somewhat technological bent to their magic. Any of their stuff can be real valuable sometimes. Drugs Certainly or historically valuable, if not or. magically or financially. This guy, however... Well met. Drug smash stupid! This guy's a failed evolution of what dwarves could have been. 
I'm glad dwarves never turn into this kind of monstrosity, let me tell you. Um, however, he's currently in our way, so let's crush him. And back to spells. At least now I can, uh, ooh, interesting. At least now I can use a, uh, a combo that I really love. Use Murloc Knight and then immediately use your hero power. You have no way to deal with the Murloc Knight in turn four. And ta-da, you instantly got two Murlocs. These guys are going to destroy each other as well, that's a no-brainer. Uh-oh. Ouch. That's one way of dealing with my dudes. I, however, have a way of dealing with your dudes. I'm glad my, uh, my Paladin deck has a sufficient number of spells. Okay, that's not going to be able to deal with Desertion from Earth and Pursuer, but I'm going to give this Murloc a uh, of Wisdom. The battle. So that I can draw another card. Nothing wrong with that. Next turn, I'm probably going to drop Dr. Boom, and the turn after that, I'm going to do land on this. Ancient curse. Mm -hmm. We're still pretty evenly matched, even if he's got cards in basically every class. Not fair. Okay. Um. What do I do? I don't know. Do I... I need to deal with that Ancient Shade. Ah. Uh. It's also real tempting to just drop Dr. Boom. Yeah, because that could be the death of him. <laughs> yeah, if I survive this, I'm too sad. If I don't survive this, well... I might be a bit boned. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna do a lay on hands, and turn after that I can drop not one but two Tuscar Jasters. Which makes me very happy. Um No way in hell. I'm over that little Not complaining about that either. Okay, they still got seven attack. But... The battle! I don't care at this point. I can handle myself. Ooh! Well then. Karma's a bitch. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's just the appropriate thing to say when something like this happens. Aww. Aww. Aww, now I'm sad. Um. I can either go on the offensive or I can. Does this work? No, I didn't want win that joust. So I need to joust again, otherwise I will be dead. I won that joust. Good. Now it's his turn to keep up with me. That's not gonna be fast enough, my friend. You're gonna be dead by the time that thing comes into play. That did absolutely nothing to my minions and makes his more vulnerable. I think I've won now. The battle! Well, first one down. Booyah! Double drop. Interesting. Let's move right on up to the second part. This mine shop leads straight to the center of Uldaman. Awesome. Minecart Rush. Escape the Trogs in this quote-unquote super safe mm -hmm, minecart. Let's have a go. This is another event boss. I like that. It's still another run like hell boss, just like with uh, Jackson. But I think this um, particular boss doesn't make you Watch have your out, own deck. Chased. Yeah, you have two mana, you can spend it either on... You can spend it either on throwing a stone at a random enemy minion, which is always good, or uh, and or playing spells. Uh, barrel forward is nice. Uh, repairs is nice. I think I'm going to keep these two barrel forwards to the for the final two turns. I think right now I'm going to drop a spike decoy uh, and throw a stone. Mr. The Crocs, come on, gather! Hey. This is going to be close. Don't get me wrong. Okay, that, um, yeah, 
that could be problems. Let's do this again. Oh, that's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Oh well, I think I I think I'm gonna keep that in reserve as well. Use it one of those? No. May as well get one. Full speed ahead! May as well get one turn close to the exit already. Okay. Okay. Next turn, I'm gonna do Kaboom. Yeah, this is exactly why you want to do Kaboom now. First, I boom. Yes! Perfect. Haha! Riding carts and throwing bombs! This is a blast! Heh. Okay. We seem to be dealing with, uh, a very, very long tunnel here. Oh, well, hello. Consult Brun. Draw three cards. Does cost one mana. Uh, mechan mechanical parrots? What the hell have you been up to, Bran? Um, sure? I should drop one of these. Oh, Warcraft. It's a beautiful world, but a strange one. Time to drop some repairs. A little gizzard gum, and it's good as new! Gizzard gum? Ugh. That did nothing. Wait. Still, I'm not gonna die from this, and I can just uh, barrel forward that ability and win. I think this gets me the win. Yes, it does. Wonderful. Let's see what's at the end of this bunch. I think I already know. Lost them. The headpiece is in the next room. You mean a crown? Or. Oh no, the headpiece of the staff. Oh, this is apparently a nice fun card. Unearth Raptor. Choose a friendly man and get a copy of its death rattle effect. It's a rogue only card, but it's pretty, pretty nice. Yes, Arcadus, the Titan Watcher of Uldaman. He's a, a big um, boss in World of Warcraft, and I, uh, one of my finest moments in back when I was first starting to play the game, was assembling a group, running all the way through Uldaman, which has like a 10 level difference from the start to the end, and actually downing Arcadus once. Now, I wasn't in charge of that group, but I was healing. And that uh, wasn't easy. giant Arcadus has got the headpiece, but he won't give it up without a fight. Okay, what he does is he drops uh, zero two statues for both of us. For him and for me. The problem is that those statues explode, uh, which is bad. So I'm actually gonna drop. I'm actually gonna make a custom shaman deck to deal with Arcadis because there's one card you know you're gonna want if you if you want to get those uh, totems destroyed, just like that Nexramus boss. For those of you who played Nexramus, who gives you minions that you need to be rid of. Bar, space bar. Flame Tongue Totem. The best totem. I'm also going to fill up the rest of this deck, so be right back. Okay. So this is what I've come up with. Rockbiter Weapon, Abusive Sergeant, Crazed Alchemist, Flame Tongue Totem. Well, you can see it all here. It's all based on buffing minions and uh, killing minions and etc. To make the best possible use of not only Thrall's Hero Bar, but especially uh, Arcadis' ability. Uh, and on the bottom, there's some, the usual suspects, as well as some other basic cards, which you really can't go without. So the idea is to use Arcadius' hero power against him, which is always fun. Now, usually you'd only use a deck like this in heroic mode, but I actually think my uh, normal paladin deck would actually have a bit of trouble with this. And I'd rather build something just specifically to deal with this particular uh, boss and his powers. This might actually work on the hard mode, but I'm not going to try that yet. Who dares the wrath of the Makers? I do, I do. For Doomhammer. Yeah, I do for Doomhammer. Oh, something lower cost, please. That's worse. Actually worse. Okay. 
Oh man. Greetings, friend. Oh, greetings, friend. You get a A servant of the ancient titans. Oh, the stories he could tell us. If you weren't too busy burying you in stone. Exactly. He's trying to hit us in the face and and then tomb us in his own temple. So I think that's not the best place to start off a friendship right now. Okay, I'm gonna need to start dealing with these guys. Yep, I'm gonna start need needing to deal with these guys. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Thankfully, he's not the only one who can buff his guys. Okay, he's smart. He's got the exact same strategy as I do. Now let's try and do. Sorry about that. This. Oh yes, card draw. I'm a bit low on health right now, but we shall see. Don't blow them up, don't blow them up yet, don't blow them up yet. Okay. Oh, you are clever. You are clever. Well, one- Oh, I wanted to say one thing is obvious and it's really bad. First off, Elements guide me. I want this one to take the brunt of the uh, snake's blood. Uh oh. I will yep. bury you. Oh, this is a good deck he's got. I got this. Have you though? Have you got this? I think I'm gonna go with this. My shield for I Argus. Got this. That that snake's annoying because he's gonna just kill that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Sadly, that's not gonna stay. But a guy can hope, I guess. Um. I could just drop Dr. Boom if I want to, yeah. Sure. sure, why not? Why not go for the big gun and start damaging him? Once. Choose an enemy. Chip wins. Oh, wow. That's not very nice. Okay. If that is how you wish to play it, my friend, then that is how it shall be played. lens the sun well. Yeah, these are going to be primary targets. And we seem to be leveling out. I want the stone statue destroyed before anything else. Because that. None may steal us. Wow, you actually buffed him. Okay, fine. Um, hold on. One, two, three. Eight. Wait, wait. One, two, three. three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Guess what? Goodbye, Arcadis. I miscalculated there just a little Wanted. bit, but doesn't Dead matter. Or alive. Yeah, I can kill him with Bane of Doom if nothing else. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do! Even if Bloodlust is tempting. Goodbye, Arcanus. I will enjoy He will enjoy watching you die! <laughs> awesome. Right again. Right. The the piece is ours. Only one piece to go! Relic or you seeker. If you have six other minions, the game blows rolls. 
Uh, plus four, plus four. Interesting. I do think there's gonna be a fifth week with the staff. Brand Bronze Beard, Battle Cry, Strength Class, Excavated Evil. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, two new class challenges, including Paladin. They found the second piece. My plan is nearly complete. I think, yeah. What's gonna be a third piece? The gem, I think. Let's have a go. Uh, let's start with Druid, and then finish up with the best one. Hammer Guy versus... <laughs> they, <laughs> they look exactly the same. Let's have a go. Malfurion versus Scarvash! Amusingly enough, these two also it's don't look too dissimilar. Only. I must uh -huh. protect the wild. No, way too expensive. No, and that one's pretty fine. Yeah, pretty fine. I can only do savagery and that's gonna do literally nothing, so next turn I'm gonna drop a huge dud. Huge dud? Yeah, huge dud. Best choice right now. This is against uh, the uh, anti hero power uh, trap again. The exact same. I'm gonna give this guy plus four health and taunt, so he can keep it nice and safe. And still deal one damage to a random enemy when he dies. That's not a cigar sticking out of his head, by the way. Out of his mouth. That's an adventurer. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a scary. Uh... See the little thing on the. Uh, the green little thing on the moss, moss covered rocks? That's normal frock. What we're seeing here is a huge toad, and he's got a he's eating a gnome. It still looks like a cigar, though. It still looks a lot like a cigar. Um, I could either use my hero power, another night on the prowl, and risk uh, that ability, or I could not do that, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna not do that. The fire. Turns out could have made a worse decision. Uh, destroy minion at a random minion to your opponent's hand. That thing's dangerous, but it's not that dangerous. I don't know. Hmm. Um. Can't really be clever about this. It's either mulch or some. It's either mar mulch or starfall and lose a minion. I'm gonna mulch this thing. And I'm not gonna dare the hero power because he can do 5 damage. It's either to my face or one of those two minions. It's not gonna be worth it ever. Whenever you summon a beast, reduce the cost of this card by 1. Okay, fine. Let's do this. Oh, Night of the Wild, the Khans, the Centaur Khans. Haven't heard from them in... in... eight years. Since I've last done uh, Dire Maul. Okay, um... Uh, I, can do so I can do Savage Roar, and then Savagery Savagery. What does that do? That does a lot of damage, is what it does. Uh, though I would rather do Living Roots first, and then set up for that. In two turns? No. This is gonna do three damage, three damage. But it is gonna kill one of these guys. Unless it's gonna hit the Nether Wild Absolutely not. So this is gonna be one hell of a combo. I know. Oh, it's hit me in the face. Which is arguably the best decision. Just, uh, all the wild. Yeah, okay. He's dead. Great. I might have already missed that. No, no. Goodbye, Scarvash. I won't be seeing Mr. You anymore. And he got Mounted Raptor. Oh, God. Look at that thing's eyes. It's looking a bit crazy. Like it's coked out or something. Death Rattle. Summon a random one cost minion? Wow. That's pretty good. If that was a hunter card, I'd be real scared. 
Threw it over, I'm just gonna be apprehensive. <sighs> Arcadus versus, well, my favorite class. This is gonna be pretty nice. Minion spam <laughs> on both sides. Versus Arcadus! Bring it. Who dares the wrath of the Makers? This time it's a paladin. I will fight with honor. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna keep these two. Hmm. Well now, excuse me. Yawning. Oh my god, Sir Finley Merkleton. I can't not play this. I need to play this. Discover a new basic hero power. Who's that for an adventure? Oh my god. A Murloc with a Pospirator's accent. Um, Fire Blast, Dagger Mastery, Steady Shot. Don't know, probably gonna go with... Steady Shot. No, because he has no... Hmm, this is a difficult one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Fire Blast. It's the most versatile of the, of the ones available. See? Okay, I'm gonna... Go with a little tire wheel right now. So Finley... What did he, he say? Oh, he's the cutest thing. I might actually make a Murloc Shaman deck. Because Finley... Mm, magnifique. What's this? Oh, if you summon a... Oh, you are clever. Or at least you think you are. If you summon a... Fifth minion... Boom. If you already have four minions on the board. So, I'm not gonna summon a fifth minion. But of course. But of course. Plus three attack and divine shield. Um, just gonna test it's not. It is what I thought it was. Um, I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is avenge and then hero power. I like throwing around fireballs as a paladin. It's nice. It's really nice. Um. I could have done this in a different order. Uh, then again, I should do this. Oops. Oh well. Try again. I seem to be for neglecting the complexities of this particular uh, fight. Then again, once I get Raid Leader on the board, it's gonna be epic. Mm, bring it. I do want to be rid of most of these guys, actually. That's also happening like, messing up because I, I'm basically willfully doing so. Basically, if not quite. Um, I want you guys to wound yourselves on this guy. Gone. I'm just gonna throw your power down just to be safe. Gotta keep some things in reserve. What if Dutch? Sir Finley, you are the most adorable thing in the world. Whoever thought up Finley is is deserving of a hug. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, badass Finley. I like that. Let's make that even more so. Finley will never die. Uh, no, no, no. Let's let's not go over the top here. My shield. Let's not make him so ridiculously powerful that he can kill Arcadus in one slam. That would be dumb. Uh, yeah, it would be dumb. Um, hmm. Stop poking me! But of course! Uh, what you want? I could have had Lethal. I could have had Lethal, but the numbers here are a bit overwhelming. Slightly overwhelming. It also helps that it go quiet when I'm actually playing cards because I'm thinking. Right. This is almost over anyway. Ooh, I wish I would have drawn this guy earlier. Bolvar's a badass. But using the mage hero power on Arcados as a paladin is basically. Um. The perfect consolation prize. Goodbye, Arcadis. Stream. 
Awesome. What do we get? I honestly don't know. I don't recall. We get the Keeper of Ulamon, of course. Set a minion's attack and health to three. Awesome. Awesome. I have nothing to complain about. A few things to yawn about, thankfully enough. Now, the tavern brawl for this week is the Battle of Tolbarad. Magical creatures are escaping from Tolbarad. Play a minion and get a random spell of the same cost, but for free. So I'm gonna make a deck for this. And you can see that in another video. I guess you could consider it a bonus video, or you can consider it a tavern brawl video, which which you choose is up to you. What this serial number one seven seven one two two nine? Nah. Right. See you guys next video.